my talk is on uh, sound card based uh, radio direction finding. Um, basically what, um, what we're doing is uh, locating transmitters um, and uh, using simplified hardware uh, that's cheap and uh, so what's radio direction finding? Uh, determining the direction that uh, a transmitter is relative to a particular receiver. Um, if you have multiple um, stations, uh, you can uh, do triangulation. Um, you can also do triangulation by making multiple observations. Um, this is like a, a single uh, receiver. So you're measuring the angle that the transmitter is relative to the receiver. Um, with one station or one observation, you don't know exactly where they are, but you know what direction. If you have multiple observations or um, receivers, you can do triangulation and get a pretty good idea of where that transmitter is. Um, there's a number of uh, uses. Um, some of these are like emergency aid and rescue, say someone's lost but they have some sort of radio, uh, you can probably help locate them. Um, locating jammers or interference of various sort. Um, there's people that do uh, tracking for sport or tracking wildlife, say endangered species that have been outfitted with uh, transmitters. Um, finding interesting sources like uh, police perhaps or military and tracking them. Um, basically, uh, this is your standard uh, Doppler example. Um, as you move towards a source, the uh, radio waves compress and you get a higher frequency. If you move away, it's lower. Um, so kind of an example here, normally the, guy, the girls on the left are twirling and as you're going towards and away from the horn, um, you notice a change in the pitch. Um, and we're going to use this procedure um, to determine where they are, um, but instead of uh, you moving around, you rotate your antenna, and if you know where the antenna is, um, and your received signal will have, um, uh, <laughs> you'll, you'll have two signals. You have your antenna uh, angle, and then you have your received signal and you measure the phase angle and that will tell you the angle relative to the receiver that the transmitter is. Um, you do this a whole bunch and do and you average your measurements so you and do some filtering. Um, so basically you have your antenna rotation signal, your Doppler shift, you run that into your sound card, um, measure uh, the phase angle, do some D, uh, DSP, GPS coordinates, triangulation, combine, plot, and coordinate with other um, stations or your own logs. Um, advantages, low cost hardware. Um, you can do updates on the fly. Um, uh, there's a lot of other things, <laughs> other advantages that, uh, that you can do um, by doing it this way. Um, there are some problems. You do need a computer. Those are expensive. You could also do it on a microcontroller with the standalone uh, DSP. Um, and uh, sound cards aren't the best analog to digital converters. Um, they do have some error and problems um, along with the, the way that it works with the operating system. Um, this is a block diagram of uh, what I've been working on using a microprocessor and a cellular telephone um, antenna switcher. Um, they're pretty simple. You only have two uh, bits to control which antenna you're, you're on and you switch between those quickly. You get a, a pseudo antenna rotation. Um, target computer is about 300 bucks. Uh, so we want this to be easily accessible. Um, you do need a radio, however, uh, at this time. Um, Uh, this is kind of a, an example of what a uh, single station that's uh, driving around and making multiple observations uh, might look like. Um, uh, you can also do static uh, stations. 
Um, there's a pretty good book about uh, implementing practical DSP systems um, by Richard G. Lyons. Uh, there's a good DSP intro course that's uh, Creative Commons. If you're interested, contact me. I can send it to you. Um, it was done uh, last year at Tapper. Um, this is the antenna switcher that I'm currently using. It's uh, pretty small um, and very cheap. It's under $5 US for single quantities. Um, <clears throat> and I'm just using a SparkFun breakout board um, to hook it up to the microprocessor and the uh, antennas. Uh, this is uh, the antenna setup that I'm currently using. It's pretty simple. It's made out of uh, tape measures and uh, PVC pipe. <clears throat> um, there's other variations that you could do, like uh, four quarter wave uh, whips. Um, there are some, some problems if you were going after some, something that was sensitive, like police or uh, something like that, and you were coordinating over the internet. Um, and that you kind of expose your location in order to do the triangulation with other uh, random people. Um, there, there is a um, current working version um, that some Dutch guys uh, built. Um, I'd like to make an open source hardware and software implementation. Um, some more information, contact me via email. Thanks.